Hey DIYers, Jared here from Alarm Grid. Uh, today we're going to be going over how you can set a power or run power to the Honeywell L7000 system. Um, there are a couple of different ways you can go ahead and do so. That's what we're going to be covering in this video. Um, but essentially, you know, there's, there's different ways you can do it, right? Normally, um, you can use either custom wire to be able to supply power to the system um, by using like standard 18 gauge cable, 20 gauge cable, or 22 gauge cable. Um, the recommended, if you're going to be using custom wire, is 18 by 2 gauge cable because um, it is going to be able to uh, supply enough power uh, sufficiently and especially if you want to do some long power runs, 18 gauge cable is normally the best one to use. Um, you can also use 22 by 2 gauge cable or even 20 by 2 gauge cable. Um, some occasions we've seen 16 by 2 gauge cable, but not as recommended as ones mentioned earlier. Now, for uh, the other way of setting up the power for the uh, system is by using an LT cable as well. It's a specific cable made by Honeywell. Uh, we're going to be covering this cable a little bit later in this video, but this is the LT cable. Um, essentially, it's going to be different from a custom wire because custom wire you're really going to see like the, um, you're not going to see the spade connectors unless you set that up, obviously, but you'll see the, uh, you know, just the stranded wire, um, positive and negative that you just set up to the panel or, and then also the transformer. For this one, it's a little bit different because you have a barrel connection right here. You have the piece that plugs into the back of the panel, and then this just plugs in via barrel connection. Um, as I said, we're going to be covering this in a little bit, but those are really the two ways you can go ahead and do uh, set up the power. Um, now, really, you know, th there's there's different reasons as to why you would use either custom wire or the LT cable. Um, essentially, you know, if you want, if you're setting up an L7000 system and you want to locate the transformer away from the panel, maybe somewhere across the house or you know, like 20 or so feet away, so that it's not really viewable uh, to anybody or it's not out in the open, you know, you want to have it hidden. If you're, going to be doing, if you're going to be doing something like that, then it's much better to use custom wire because you're able to run those, uh, that, that wire a little bit further than you would with the LT cable, for instance. Um, the LT cable is fixed to about eight feet. It's an eight foot fixed cable. Um, if, you're, if you have a, a, an outlet that's about eight feet or seven feet, anywhere around that range, then you can go ahead and use this cable. Definitely recommend it because it is very easy to set up. Uh, but if you have anything that's going to be run any further, then we would recommend using the 18 gauge by or 18 by 2 gauge cable. Um, that's going to let you be able to run power a little bit further, um, and then 22 by 2 and then 20 by 2 gauge cable. Now, for the L7000, if you're using 18 gauge cable, um, I believe the furthest you can run the power is a, roughly around like 20, 25 feet uh, with 22 by 2 gauge cable or I'm, I'm sorry, 20 by two gauge cable, you're gonna be running about, um, about 15, 13 to 15 feet or so, and then 22 gauge cable, it's gonna be a little bit less actually, around like 10, eight to 10 feet. Um, you can find this information in the installation manual for the L7000. It'll give you a better estimate of how far those power runs can be. If you are gonna be using custom wire, you want to make sure you're staying within the recommended power uh, requirements or the, the length of how far that wire can run. You wanna make sure that the system is getting sufficient power. If you're going further than what's recommended, you might have some issues with the power being run to the system. There's, there's a couple things that can follow. So just wanna keep that in mind uh, when you're setting up the, the power to the systems. Now for uh, the LT cable, very simple, as I said, eight foot cable, um, very straightforward to set it up. You don't have to worry about the, the length or anything because it's already um, a pre cut wire. It's already uh, uh, pre, uh, it's already fixed length. <laughs> so, so essentially, if you want to go ahead and set up power to the L7000, first thing you want to do is obviously make sure it's powered down. Um, there's going to be no power to it because you're not, there's no power run to it anyway. So uh, basically, the first thing you want to make sure though is that the battery backup is actually unplugged. You never, you normally never want to run power to it if the battery backup is plugged in, because um, normally the sequence to either power down the system or power it up, you always want to have the battery backup um, unplugged. So first thing you want to make sure of uh, when you're setting up the power is that the battery backup is unplugged. You never want the battery backup to be plugged in while you're running power to the system uh, to avoid any power issues. So first, what you want to do is pop open the L7000 so you can have access to the power terminals anyway so you can run that power. So if you want to do that, 
Um, it's much better if you have like a flathead screwdriver or like a pair of keys, something that's gonna be able to help you uh, pry open the two tabs to open up the system. There's gonna be two tabs located right at the top of the panel, um, literally right here and then right here. They're a little bit geared towards the back of it so you can't see it, but you're just going to pop those open or you're gonna push those down and then pop open the system. So as you can see, uh, you have the two tabs sitting right here. Um, you just wanna push those down and then you'll be able to pop open the system. Now, if you look at the inside of the L7000, you see a power strip right here, right? You, this is normally where you would run, if you're using custom wire, you're gonna be running the positive and negative to this uh, terminal. You have, if you look very closely, nine volt DC and then a GND, uh, basically ground. Positive is gonna to run to this, negative is gonna to run to this. We're gonna cover that in a bit. Um, if you have the LT cable, then you're gonna plug the barrel connection right into there. Now, as I said, first thing you wanna check is the battery backup. Make sure that it's, that it's unplugged before you run any power. As of right now, uh, we do have the power, or we do have it unplugged, but your battery backup is normally gonna be located right on the back plate attached to the wall, and then you'll have the cable running down and normally, it would be plugged in right here. So you just uh, pops in place, a little like that. But for this demonstration, we want to make sure it's unplugged. So first things first, um, we're gonna be using custom wire. So we actually have 18 gauge cable that I'm gonna be using for this video. And just looks like a standard, uh, standard cable. You know, it has the if you look at it, we have the positive right here and then we have the negative. I've already stripped the um, sheath that's on here. Um, before, when you're prepping a wire, normally what you would have to do if it's like a brand new cable is take off like this plastic covering that's literally right here. You have to remove it and then you have the wires on the inside. In this instance, this is actually an 18 by four gauge cable and an 18 by two. So that's why you're seeing a uh, green and yellow cable right here. I just wrapped it around because we're not using it we're just gonna be using the positive and negative. Now normally an 18 by two gauge cable, you would just have the positive and negative, not even have this extra wire. So when you remove that plastic covering, you're gonna have the wire exposed and then these cables are also going to be uh, covered. They're also gonna be covered as well, yeah. So you're, you're gonna have to strip the plastic off of those so you can get the uh, bare metal uh, for the, to be able to set up the power. Now, as I said, on the L7000 itself, you have the terminal right here at the bottom or at the top. And what, would, what you would do is take your red positive and you're gonna wire it into the nine volt or the plus nine volt DC terminal screw. So before you do that, you wanna make sure that the screw here is uh, taken out enough or lifted enough so that you can fit the cable in there. You, can, you would take your positive and stick it into the little terminal that is right above it. There's a little slot. You can't exactly see it here. There's a little slot right up here that the cable can fit into. And once you pop that in, you just screw it in place. Want to make sure it's not uh, coming out at all. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then you have your negative uh, cable, which is the black wire. And then what you're going to do is wire that into the GND terminal right here. Um, as I said, you know you want to make sure the screw is lifted up so you have some room to fit the cable in there. Just wire that in. And now you have the positive and negative wired into the back of the L7000. Now on the other side of the cable, um, this is where the transform is gonna come into play. So 
normally when you get like a brand new L7000 system or even a Honeywell system in general, you're going to get a transformer, a power transformer um, to be able to set it up. Now you're not, it doesn't come with any wire. So this is where you would use either the 18 gauge cable or the LT cable. So as you can see on this transformer here, we have uh, terminal screws at the bottom and this is where the wire is gonna be uh, screwed into. And there's a positive, and there's a negative. So what you would do is take your positive, wire it right underneath the positive, and you're gonna need, you can actually use either a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver because the screw allows you to be able to do that. Now, for these, actually, this is a very good thing. Um, if you just try to screw it in the way I just did, normally the cable is just gonna pop out sometimes from the side. What you wanna do is kind of just angle it. Make like a little uh, little hook. And then you would just hook it into thermal screw. So that when you screw it in, fits in place. See, it's not popping out from the side again. So same thing with the negative. You want to make sure it's lined up with the negative screw. Um, just do a little hook as well. Cable's going to be a little bit stiff because it's brand new, but you want to go ahead and just screw that in too. Now you have positive and negative set up on your transformer. So, and then what you would do at this point is once you have that uh, set up, normally in most instances, you would have the cable fed through the wall. Um, I just did this as a demonstration, but whenever you have that power cable set up, you're just gonna plug in the transformer, or first, take that back, you're gonna plug in the battery backup, and then you're gonna plug in the transformer, and then that'll supply power to your L7000 with the custom wire. All right, so now that you know how to set up our run wire or run power to the L7000 uh, by using custom wire, we're gonna go on and move and move over to the LT cable. Um, I've already removed our custom wire um, from the previous bit because we're no longer gonna be using that. But for this part, um, this is gonna be the LT cable. So as I said, this is gonna be type of barrel connection. You have the female, I mean, you have the male barrel connection right here, and then you have the female connection right here. This is gonna be the piece that wires into the uh, L7000 actually. Um, you could technically plug the barrel connection right here as well, technically do that, but it's much better if you just use uh, the male and female end, because if you ever need to just unplug it or anything like that, it's just much simpler. Now, when you're uh, setting this up, as, it, uh, as we already went over, you have the positive and negative. So, you want to make sure that the positive and negative are being run to the correct terminals on the L7000. So we're going to take our red positive, we're going to wire it into the nine, uh, plus 9 volt uh, DC terminal, and then we're going to be taking the negative and wiring it to the uh, G and D, which is ground. So just going to make sure, so you're just going to make sure you screw Lift it high enough so you can fit the cable in there. Right now, mine is not actually. So I wasn't able to stick or put it in there correctly. So now, going to screw that in. And then you're going to take the negative, wire it into the ground terminal. So now you have your female end of the LT cable uh, wired into the L7000. And then if you have um, the other end of it fed through the wall or fish through the wall, then you're gonna be able to just plug it in from there. Now uh, we'll get to that part in a second as well. Now for the other end of the LT cable, um, this is where you would wire this end to the uh, transformer. As you can see at the top of it, we have two spade lugs right here. We have a positive, and then a negative. Uh, the spade lugs are gonna make it a lot easier to be able to wire it to the uh, screws instead of having to sit there and make the little hook with the custom wire to have the um, 
have it nice and snug and not slip out from underneath the screw, these are just going to be able to catch it e much easier. So when you're doing that, or when you're setting up the uh, cable to your transformer, you want to place your uh, positive on the positive screw terminal. So you're just going to stick that spade lug underneath the screw and then just screw that in. See, it's much easier. It's not slipping or anything like that. It just catches immediately. And then you're going to take your uh, negative and make sure that it is lining up with the negative screw. You don't want to switch these around as you can cause some power issues if you have positive and negative wrong on the panel um, compared to how you have it set up on the transformer. So you want to make sure that these are not slipping at all. You want to make sure these are nice and tight, uh, tightly secured. Um, I'm pulling on it just gently, but nothing's coming out. But as you can see, you have the positive, run to the positive, and then negative, run over to the negative. All right, so now I have the uh, LT cable actually fed through the walls, fished over. This is what I should have done with the uh, custom wire as well. And But basically, this is what it would look like. If you have the cable fished through the wall, you have your female connection here uh, set up on the back of the L7000, and then you have your male connection uh, fed through the hole. Now, first, before plugging in the power, I want to make sure your battery backup is plugged in. So just plug in that battery backup real quick into the uh, terminal up here. And then you have your LT cable. So at this point, you plug that in. And then at the under end of, other end of it, you have your transformer that you just plug into a normal wall outlet. And if you were to close it up, Panel is currently in its boot up process, but that's how you would uh, set up the LT cable with the L7000. Um, just as simple as that. And that is how you run power to the Honeywell L7000 system. If you have any further questions about the Honeywell L7000 or alarm systems in general, please reach us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. Have a great day.